And now, Action News Now Storm Tracker Weather. Coverage you can count on. Okay, meteorologist Brian Ramsey with us on this Sunday night, mm -hmm. a very smoky and hazy Sunday night. Brian, we were just talking about it. The problem is right now the visibility is so low they can't fly to yeah. fight these yeah. fires, and that's a big thing when you have so many big fires. Exactly. So the air quality is a health concern, but you know they also can't get those helicopters in, can't yep. get the planes in because they can't even see the fire to do it safely. Right. The good news is some of the smoke we could begin to see clear up over the next few days, and that is what my fingers are crossed for. I have a live look outside right now. This is from East Quincy in Plumas County. Looking pretty orange out there. If it's not looking orange in your area, it's still looking hazy, and many of you are having hazardous air quality right now. Quincy is going to be one of them. A look at the air quality across the area Chico, Oroville, Yuba City, all very hazardous. That means it's dangerous outside. Everybody will experience health effects if they are outside in this smoke for more than 24 hours. Paradise Megalia, also hazardous. Quincy as well. The rest of you, or pretty much everybody else, is sitting at unhealthy air quality right now. Visibility is being reduced across the area as well. A quarter mile of visibility in Chico right now, half a mile of visibility in Paradise and Megalia. So it is that that smoke is so thick that it might even cause a danger for driving, just like it would fog. So please be careful as you're driving uh, out on the roadways. As for look the air quality over the last few days, you know, notice about three, four, four days ago, five days ago, the air quality was in the good range, and then it went shot up and just to the very unhealthy. Then it kind of hovered in unhealthy for a few days, and then the last two days we've been shooting up to this darkest layer up here, which is hazardous air quality. Hopefully. That doesn't happen. It might happen tomorrow, but hopefully it doesn't happen for the rest of the week as the winds will begin to shift. And we are seeing some stronger wind speeds already in the mountain regions. 24 mile per hour wind gust in Altiris, 20 mile per hour gust in Susanville, and 19 in Chester. There is a red flag warning uh, in our northern counties. Not out here, but there will be a red flag warning out here as we go into tomorrow as winds get even stronger. A look at the current temperatures right now sitting in the 90s across the North Valley, 80s in the Central Valley because that fog is a little thicker, so it is acting as cloud cover, keeping us a little cooler, and then 80s and 70s in the mountain regions. Tonight and tomorrow across the lower Klamath Mountains, overnight lows in the 50s and 60s, highs getting into the 80s and 90s for tomorrow, staying smoky as well. And as we go into the Sierra Cascades, notice those winds. They will be picking up tomorrow, highs in the 80s for pretty much everybody outside. As we go onto the ridge, highs also in the low to mid 80s for tomorrow and 70s maybe for a few of you. Same goes for the Sierra foothills, but out here it will stay smoky no matter what the wind shift is because you are near the Bear Fire. In the North Valley, highs will be in the 80s all day for tomorrow. We are beginning to go on a cooling trend, and same goes for the Central Valley. So let me show you what I'm talking about. That ridge of high pressure will begin to move east over the next few days, and that low pressure will try to move in, bringing windy weather, but it will also bring humid weather, which could bring showers to the coast or maybe Trinity and Siskiyou County, maybe even a thunderstorm as well. So we'll have to keep an eye on that uh, very closely. But as we go through the wind gust over the next few days into tomorrow, those wind gusts will definitely be picking up in the mountain regions for tomorrow, and we could see the same thing uh, on Tuesday as well, but just to a lesser extent. But again, that red flag warning is in place for tomorrow in Modoc, Siskiyou, and of course in the Sierra foothills and mountains down here, uh, going all the way down to Paradise, all the way down to Orville for uh, tomorrow. And of course, that rain again, most likely to happen in Siskiyou, Trinity counties, and as we head towards the coast. As for a look at your seven day forecast in Chico, I got a high of 88 degrees for you for today. Same goes, or for tomorrow, uh, same goes for Tuesday. Staying pretty breezy and hazy, but again, hopefully that air quality will improve as those winds help kick some of that smoke out. And then we could see highs back in the 70s by Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. As for Redding, a high of 90 degrees for today, 91 or for tomorrow, 91 for Tuesday. And then we are back into the 80s. On Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That was me running across the screen trying to make it to the desk in case you weren't wondering. Uh, but of course, ho hopefully we could get some rain out of this system. But the problem is, I only think it's going to happen in the mountain regions, and there is a chance of seeing some of those thunderstorms as well, which is always going to be a hazard at this time of year. Double edged sword here. We're talking about the winds clearing out the air, but we don't need <clears throat> the winds feeling those fires any yeah, more than they so are. Yeah, so that's another problem as well. Yep. That's why okay. we have that red flag warning. Yep, so we mm -hmm. have to keep close attention over the next few days. Yeah. And hope we get a little bit of relief from at least the air quality. Exactly. Okay, thank you for that, Brian. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. Don't go anywhere. We're coming right back.